it's so nice to see so many people joining us today for this virtual celebration. Uh, we're coming to you live from Region 10 today. We are in the lobby here. You'll probably recognize this cube back behind here. But let me start by introducing myself. My name is Rachel Frost, and I am our Director of Communication Services. And I remember that not long ago, I was actually sitting in the audience at our Teacher of the Year luncheon, and I was one of the communications directors in a school district, and I remember being just absolutely in awe of the talent that I was surrounded by in the room that day, just the most exceptional educators. And I really feel like even though we're in this virtual setting, today is no different. So I just really appreciate everyone that has joined us today. I wanna to say congratulations to our Teachers of the Year, and I just want to thank you for taking time out of your day to be with us. I know it's a really busy time of year, and so we are really appreciative of you being on this call today. Uh, so we want to go ahead and get started. First and foremost, I have to recognize our sponsors. We have several sponsors who have been supporting us year after year, and again this year we have two level one sponsors, Valcor Beatty and Thompson and Horton, and we thank them for their generous contributions. We have our level two sponsor, the Interlocal Purchasing System, a level three sponsor, Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union, and Balfour has also donated uh, some really awesome rings to our two winners today. So for our Teachers of the Year this year, we have some awesome prizes, a great t-shirt. We have changed things up a little bit with a yard sign uh, so that you can either put that in your classroom or you can put it out in front of your home. We want people to know how special this recognition is, as well as a tote bag. So because we are virtual, we are going to make sure that we get all of these items delivered to our Teachers of the Year. So this next week, we will be making deliveries to your administration building. So we're gonna drop those off, and as soon as those are at the building, we will let you know, we'll send you an email and say uh, that you can go ahead and pick up your prizes. I was so incredibly proud of our school administrators and all the teachers and, and everyone in the districts who just jumped up and just pivoted in a minute and we went from you know having face-to-face -face students to being remote and I couldn't have been more proud of what I saw across all of Texas and how we handled the situation. COVID was probably one of the greatest indicators of how important education is to me because I saw across the state, across the nation. I saw teachers rise up and find a way when they had zero time to prepare and they had no clue how to do it and just said, but we're going to do it. Um, that was so impactful. That was so amazing uh, just to be able to get to see each and every one of, of my peers and, and teachers I don't know and everybody we're surrounded by just to step up and decide that yeah, this is a curveball, but we're still going to swing for the fences. I just want to see the same tenacity that we get in the classroom or no matter what your learning platform is, I want to see that same level of intensity um, because our kids only get us once, typically. And we're the only shot that they have at whether it's English or math or theater arts or welding or whatever class uh, you have the privilege of teaching like this is it and so we don't get do-overs and we've still got to make the impact that changes their entire future and so I just want to see us you know go at it head first you know I'm, I'm, I'm hearing or really reading things on social media you know you see things that aren't always the most encouraging related to education and, and this entire pandemic and anything COVID related and I think this is the chance to prove the naysayers wrong. I'm so excited to see you guys do it. I know there's a lot of teachers out there who are feeling uncertain and they may be feeling overwhelmed at all the challenges that this year is going to present to us. But teachers, I just want to remind you that hands down, we are the most flexible, creative problem solvers uh, on the planet. And so I have no doubt that whether we're teaching our students in person or online that we're going to use this opportunity to grow professionally and we're going to provide our students with 
and exceptional education. So let's just stay focused on our students and let's encourage and support one another. And let's remind our colleagues that when we get to the other side of this crisis, I believe we're gonna look back at the end of the year and we're gonna realize that we are now stronger teachers and we're better equipped to support our students in the future. Congratulations to each and every one of you who, uh, no matter what the results are today, you are all teachers of the year. That's fantastic, that's special. Um, it matters, you matter, you're making a difference, and I wish you the very best of years. To all of these teachers of the years, I just wanna congratulate you and I just wanna say thank you. Thank you for touching the lives of so many students and for making the decision to devote your life to education. So we have today um, our 2020 Region 10 Superintendent of the Year joining us. The Superintendent of the Year is nominated by their Board of Trustees, and then they are selected by a panel of school board members from across the region. Uh, so it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Mark Smith from Duncanville ISD. Good, good morning. I hope you can hear me. You're good. Okay, good. Good morning, uh, Rachel, and all those that are on the call. Uh, it's so good to be joining you all today. Uh, thank you for giving me just a few moments to recognize uh, our teachers uh, of the year. You know, this is just an awesome time that we're all um, here today to recognize our teachers of the year and the great work that they do. Uh, as I was thinking about our teachers, I was thinking about the challenges that we have all faced over the last several several months, whether it be the challenges of all the social tension that's going on maybe in many of our communities or whether it be the pandemic and all of the fears associated with that or just the reopening plan and the many many moving parts that all of us are dealing with and all of our teachers uh, are dealing with and those things can really be a distraction and so distractions have a way sometimes of causing us to forget about the goodness that's really around us uh, and distractions also have a way of causing us to forget about some of the positivity that's around us. And also distractions can cause us to forget about the value of lasting and trusting relationships. And so for our teachers of the year, they truly represent that goodness. Uh, and they truly represent that positivity and they truly represent the value of relationships. And I think we all need a dose of goodness and positivity and good relationships at this time. And our teachers of the year represent that. You know, you think about the saying that it's not the circumstances that define you, but it's how you respond to the circumstances. And our teachers of the year, they all responded exceptionally well. And so uh, they persevered through some very challenging times uh, during COVID. Uh, and they always find a way to do what's best for their students. And it's just an honor to be associated uh, with uh, outstanding group of teachers of the year. And it's just motivating when you think about their ability to rise above the distractions and their ability to rise above the things that they can't control and focus on what they can control and deliver for their students each and every day. And these teachers of the year, they really embody that. And it's just a great privilege to be able to um, share some words of encouragement. I want them to know they motivate all of us uh, to continue on. We all have a story of a teacher that moved us in such a way that we believe that we could accomplish something. And so these teachers of the year represent that. And so I just wanna thank uh, them for all that they do. Wanna recognize them for all their efforts and uh, wanna congratulate them uh, for continuing to answer the call each and every day. Awesome, thank you so, so much, Dr. Smith. We really appreciate you being with us today. Uh, good morning to everybody. Um, I know that um, this is probably the most unusual um, event, awards event that any of you have ever been to or seen or experienced or anything else. But the, the real meaning of today has not changed. Annually, this event at Region 10 is absolutely the most fun thing we do. Take all 365 days, take whatever event we have 
and this is number one on the list because what it does is it celebrates great teachers and even more than that, it celebrates great teaching. And you all are all exemplars of that very thing. You know, this crazy current pandemic thing has really reminded us the importance of education and the importance of how we go about educating the children and youth of our society. We know what the best teachers are. We know what makes a teacher one of the best. It's that they have a heart and they have a soul for what's important. And they have a rational reasoning mind that works with those students each and every day to make the education happen. Now what that means is we also have discovered what good teachers are not. For instance, good teachers are not Zoom. Good teachers are not um, Google Meets or Microsoft Teams or GoToMeeting. Those are not teachers. We also know that the best teachers are not fancy learning management systems. It's not Canvas, it's not Schoolology, it's not Blackboard. And we know that the best teachers are not things like Teach Resource System or Texas Home Learning. Students learn the most when a highly qualified, highly skilled, highly trained teacher works his or her magic with that student or that group of students. They learn because people like the 113 of you who were nominated in Region 10 for this award commit that heart and that soul and that mind and your body each and every day and what the pandemic has taught us is it's not just every day, it's every night, it's every hour. In fact, I think the best teachers probably even dream about educating kids. It's just who you are and what you are. Every single one of our 113 nominees is a teacher of the year. If you don't believe that you are that teacher of the year or that what is being recognized here is great teaching on your part, then you need to turn and ask one of the people standing next to you or sitting next to you, am I really that good? And my bet is that every one of them laughs and then says, absolutely, you are, we wish we had a hundred of you. Because that's the kind of talent you're bringing to the classroom, whether that classroom's in per person or whether that classroom is virtual or even if it's just on a cell phone talking with those very special young people in their homes. Now, I want all of you sitting in the room with the Teachers of the Year nominees to give them a pat on the back or an elbow bump or whatever's appropriate in your particular situation in social distancing and, and all that good stuff because you need to congratulate them. They need to feel the congratulations not just hear it through the cyber world. So take a moment and do that for me, please. Congratulations to each one of our Teachers of the Year, but more importantly, thank you. Thank you for doing what you do and being who you are, some of the greatest educators the world has known. Now, the state asks us to narrow this down and identify two of you to be the regional teachers of the year. And so we go through a long process that includes your district nominating you, and in some cases, your campus nominates you first. And once those nominations are done, then a dossier of all of your important information is sent to us here at Region 10 and our staff goes through and eliminates all of the identifying things within your dossier. And then we ask a panel of educators to take that information that's left, look through all of that, sift it, sort it, and then discuss what they've learned about you. And then they work to narrow it down to two people, an elementary teacher of the year and a secondary teacher of the year. Now, 
I'm about to announce the winner in each of those categories. You're going to get to see a video about him or her. Then we're going to let them share comments and thoughts with the rest of you. Now, until I now announce who it is and I hold up the plaque with their name on it, they don't know who they are. And so when they get on this in Zoom meeting in a minute, um, they're, they're going to be emotional. And so you'll have to forgive them for that. So let me start. Our 2021, and by the way, this whole process starts at the campus level, but it ends at the national level in the spring of 2021. So these are our 2021 Teachers of the Year that we're announcing right now. Our Elementary Teacher of the Year dealt not just with the COVID-19 pandemic, but also had to deal with the fact that his campus was heavily damaged by the tornado back in the fall. Our 2021 Region 10 Elementary Teacher of the Year is Eric Hale of David G. Burnett Elementary School in Dallas ISD. Congratulations, Eric. start kinder and first and it, it seems like the students really understand like what he's trying to say like college is now like everything you do is important now like you can't wait for tomorrow we're not going to wait for a second grade or third grade what you're doing today is important and so like there it's it's like in his classroom the students are very serious about the learning but they also know how to have fun. You pass by, you will hear the disco music. You will see the disco lights going on. He will be DJing. He likes um, to dance. And he also likes to play music when we work. His persona in his classroom, uh, his mantra, he has a, a theme for everything. And he's a believer that you have to be true to yourself. And so you really have to be, your strength should reflect in the classroom. So his strength is music. His music gives him voice and speaks a lot of messages uh, for his kids as well. And so he uses that to, to make his teaching more rich. I mean, he has a huge heart, Mr. Hale, if he, which this is a true story, if he knows that a student, a family lost their home last night, was evicted and they lost food, he will take his lunch break to go buy groceries without us even knowing. And the way he speaks about it and the, the need of why that family has to eat, the hunger that he feels inside that, you know, I mean, he just, he just fights for them. He's, he's an angel to many. And um, sometimes I hope he knows that, that uh, his work, it's not, it's not only the impact that he does to bring many things to our campus, but the lasting impression of making people feel that he truly understands and, and loves them and cares for them more than just a work. I think that has been huge for our families. Um, our families will come back to him. Even if they have to move, they'll cry here because they have to move and they don't have an option. And they know that, that they're not gonna have a Mr. Hale. So he's one of a kind. And I, I really want him to know that we know his heart, we see his heart, and we appreciate that more than words can ever describe. And Mr. Hale, you know, keep doing uh, the great work that you're doing to change the, the odds for our students and, and for so many more because you don't only touch the life of our kids, but you go into their homes and, and that especially during this time of the pandemic, you have reached out to the family on several occasions during the summer. I mean, there's no words that I have to thank you um, for what you have done. Um, I think it's more than 
than the than our words can say but you you truly have touched many many lives and for that uh we thank you here at Burnett and and we love you and congratulations we're proud of you congratulations Mr. Hal So Eric, I don't know if you can see this plaque, but it's ready for you and we'll find the time and a way to get it to you in person. Um, one of the great privileges I have as the executive director is getting to shake the hands and hug the teachers of the year. And I'm missing that right now, that the personal contact that all of us want and all of us need. But Eric, we really do appreciate you and congratulations on this award. Now, I think you can hear me and I think you can respond at this point. So have you got some things you wanna share with us? Yes, can you guys hear me? Absolutely, go for it. Uh, first, I wanna give all honor to God um, who provides for me. And um, this award is for my David G. Burnett uh, elementary family. Uh, they supported an outsider and they've been supporting me for 10 years. It's an honor to work for them. It's an honor to work for a master principal, Mrs. Lascott and her staff, Mrs. Doff, uh, Mrs. V. Um, my community has went through so much. We went from going from ice raids and that type of trauma to F3 tornadoes to a pandemic. All in all, I serve a campus that's 98.6% living below the poverty level. But yet we are a gold ribbon school and we were ranked A on the state accountability. So anything can happen if you got passion and you have a staff that's willing to do what it takes for the call of moving forward children in education. I wanna thank Region 10. I wanna thank you, thank you, thank you so much for giving somebody like me an opportunity to represent your region. Um, I come into education from the back door. I did not go to school for education. Um, God put it on my heart that this was my calling to educate. I went through an alt certification program. So all those teachers out there that are in alt certification programs or are in the classroom now because of that, you can be whatever you wanna be. Don't, don't believe that just because you came in a, through a side alternative certification way that you can have a major impact on not only your school but the entire learning community on um, ed education nationwide i'm proof of that thank you so much so much so much i did not think i was going to win this at all and uh just just thank you and all the great educators that support me and i stand on your guys's shoulders one of my good friends is actually in the competition i got my fingers crossed for my good friend katie to win um, is my counterpart. Um, thank you, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you so much, thank you. Eric, we appreciate that, and a big congratulations, and uh, job well done through all of those um, hurdles that were thrown in your way and thrown in the way of your students uh, this year and every year we have something right, but it's an amazing story about what you all have gone through at Burnett and the work you've done personally as a teacher there. So congratulations. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Now, our secondary teacher of the year, actually not far down the road from there, is Helen Arsenault of Richardson ISD's Liberty Junior High STEM Academy. Congratulations, Helen. Mrs. Arsenault is by far one of the best teachers I have ever had the opportunity of working with. Um, what makes her so great is she makes science come alive um, for her students. Um, she always makes it fun, engaging, um, she's entertaining, but probably what sets her apart from everyone else is that she truly trusts her students um, to navigate their own learning. Right now, all the craze is, how are you going to make your classroom virtual? Well, she was already doing that. She was in the classroom. Her classroom had already been transformed to the virtual world and her students were able to go 
off on their own. She had gamified all her lessons. And so from gamifying those lessons, um, when we went um, online last year to virtual school, she was just instrumental in helping our teachers. I think she more than deserves this. She's an amazing teacher. She's always looking out for us about school-wise and also just in our normal everyday lives. All her students feel very comfortable um, going to her if they have a problem, but nine times out of 10, they don't even have to go seek her. Um, she sees if they're having a good day or a bad day right away when they come in the front door because she knows them so well and she's built those relationships. A few years ago, I kind of I don't know, I started losing interest or I kind of st stopped working as hard. Then my grades went down, really down. <laughs> and um, when I met Miss Arsenault, she was always asking me maybe why I was not putting in as much effort as she knew I could or if I was okay. She, she I guess, motivated me to work as hard as I really could. I'd really love to thank her for an amazing year, for making my first year of middle school so such a memorable time, um, and for making it fun overall, and also for helping me get back into my studies, being more motivated about it, and also, I guess, making me a better person. This is Arsenault. I want to tell you how proud I am of you and I am so honored that I get to work alongside you each and every day. But be on behalf of Liberty Junior High School, we just want to thank you for the efforts and the hard work you put not only into um, our students, but to each of us as well. And we are so honored that you are a patriot. And again, congratulations. We are so proud of you and so happy for you. And we can't wait to honor you when we're all back at school together. Ms. Arsenal, I congratulations so much. I think you deserve this more than anyone else. And you are probably the best teacher I've ever had. You mean the world to me. Thank you. Helen, a big congratulations again for being named the Secondary Teacher of the Year for Region 10. Uh, I can see you on the screen, so I want to invite you to uh, talk with us a little bit and share what you're thinking right now. I will try my best. Uh, <laughs> um, I, uh, it's hard to follow Mr. Hale for sure, and uh, um, I really appreciate this award, and the truth is, is that um, everybody here is a great teacher. And you know, um, when you were talking about dreaming of teaching, I know that's what we do. That is, that is definitely what I do. I spend like every night, every weekend, every waking moment, I can look and say, oh, that would make a great lesson. Oh, I need to talk to the student about this, this thing. Um, and I know that everyone here does that. And more than anything, I just want to say thank you to everybody that is on this call, um, whether you're an administrator, whether you are in support of a teacher on this call. Um, I just, we, we really have a moment in history right now, as you were saying that like, um, you know, education is really, really important and you really only get one chance. Um, you can really change the life of students, um, and you do. You really, really do. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little broken up about my 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 Grace face, my uh, Grace that was on the call. Nothing to apologize for there, Helen. Um, I just want to say thank you. This is such an honor. Um, it, certainly, um, I, my my school is amazing. Um, I am. I am so proud to work at my school and with Richardson ISD and kind of like Mr. Hale, I didn't originally go to school for to be an educator. I am actually a scientist. And when I was uh, finishing out one of my degrees, they said, did you want to take a teaching certification thing? And I thought, 
okay, you know, sure. Why not? And you know, the truth is I love it. I absolutely love it. And, um, I am just so grateful. Um, I am just so grateful. So thank you, all of you. We look forward to being able to put this in your hands and uh, you being able to be congratulated by your peers uh, there at Liberty Junior High STEM. So as you can tell, everybody on the call can tell, great representatives, but an incredibly difficult decision that our panel has to make in terms of choosing the two. To say they're the best of the best is nice, but what I really think you, you understand once you've been a part of these is these people, these two represent, represent all of you who have been named Teachers of the Year. And if they're like their colleagues who've been named in the past, they will take it incredibly seriously because they know they represent you. And when they go and participate in the state, um, interviews and a whole process, it is very possible that one of our Region 10 Teachers of the Year is named the State Teacher of the Year and represents us at the national level. It's happened before. It can certainly happen with our two nominees from this year. Congratulations again to Helen and to Eric on being named the Region 10 Teachers of the Year. I want to express my gratitude before I turn this over to Rachel to close us out. I want to express my gratitude to everyone who is a part of this event today. Rachel and her staff here at the center do an incredible job of making sure it's right and making sure that you feel valued and you feel honored and you feel special as a teacher of the year named by your campus and your district. I think uh, we have to think in terms of how important educators are right now. I don't think they've ever been more important than in our state, in our nation, than we are right now. It's true, even if we're feeling right now, and I know you are as teachers, I know the superintendents and the principals are too, if you feel like a ball being hit back and forth across a net, by competing ide ideologies out there about what's the right thing to do right now to deal with the pandemic, but also to educate students. You're important, you're special, and we need you to continue to focus on what you do best, educating our children and youth as we go through this weird time. We know what makes great teachers. It's when those people with heart and soul work their magic. In a multitude of settings, in a multitude of methodologies, it's about making sure that those young people walk away with that education that they all deserve and they all need. I'm gonna turn it back over to Rachel at this point, but wanna wish Congratulations to Helen and to Eric, but also to all 113 of you who were recognized today. Thank you to our sponsors. I'll list them one more time. Balfour, Balfour Beatty, Thompson and Horton, the Interlocal Purchasing System, Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union and Balfour for those beautiful rings for our two winners today. I just want to really encourage our teachers uh, as we move into the upcoming school year. I know that uh, there may be bumps along the way, but I know that everyone that is on this Zoom today is going to just take it and make the very best of it for their students because that's what you do day in and day out, no, mo no matter what's thrown your way. So keep doing what you're doing. Uh, keep doing the best for those students. They deserve it. And I just hope that you all have a really wonderful school year. Uh, we also look forward to hosting this event next year in person, make it bigger and better than ever. And we look forward to seeing many of you at the luncheon next year. Uh, as a reminder for our teachers of the year, those tote bags and t-shirts and yard signs are going to be delivered to your district administration building. So we will be making those deliveries next week and we will send you an email whenever they are ready to be picked up. 
So thank you again, and I hope you all have a great afternoon, and I have, hope you have an even better school year. So take care, stay safe, and take care of one another.